Hi, today we are going to explore lists and a little bit about exception handling. So the list type. A list is not a data type per se. It's what we call a collection. So a collection, let's take the example of a stamp collection. You collect stamps. Uh, you can look at the entire collection or you can look at stamps individually. So each stamp is part of the collection. However, uh, the collection itself is no specific item in the collection, right? The stamp collection is the entire list and the stamps themselves are the list items. So what we have is uh, we've seen a collection already, which is called the string, right? The string was a collection of characters. So for example, um, the string hello has five characters and we can access each one of the characters individually. And we can use the index uh, to uh, to access each one of the letters, each one of the characters inside the string. So for example, uh, hello at index zero is H and uh, hello uh, at indices uh, one through minus one is going to be everything but the first and last letters. So lists, they can be used uh, like strings, uh, but they have more features. They can also be used in more ways. We can define the lists between the square brackets and separate each one of the values uh, with a comma. So for example, nums is equal to the list of one, four, minus one, zero. Strings is the list of hello, hi, no, Python. Things is gonna be the list of three, hello, 3.14, minus one, and another list, one, two, three. So you can put whatever you want inside a list actually. Just like for a string, we can use the index to access each item inside the list. So let's take nums is equal to 147201, for example. Nums 0 is going to be 1. Nums 3 is going to be 2. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3. Nums minus 1 is going to be the last item. And we can also use ranges of indices. 0 to 3 is going to be 0, 1, 2. So 147 nums one colon colon two is going to be from the index one using step two so four two and one adding and removing from the list can be done easily using the append and remove methods so to add an item to the end of the list we use the append method so my list dot append something new so that could be a string you could put a number in there an object whatever you want to remove something from the list, we use the remove method. So my list .remove, something to remove. So in the case of a string, uh, we have to write the exact string we wish to remove. However, do note that this instruction, the remove instruction, will produce an exception. An exception is an error in the program that causes it to crash unless you handle the exception. The topic for a bit later, if the item to be removed does not exist in the list. So example use of this uh, append and remove, we start with hello, we append goodbye, we remove hello, and then if we print our list, we will see simply a list that contains goodbye. We can also sort a list uh, simply by using the sort method on the list. Um, so for example, if we have a list that contains items um, such as cat, dog, and dog with an uppercase D, we can sort the list, my list, with the dot sort, sort method. Then if we print the list, we will get the output list dog with uppercase D followed by cat and dog with lowercase letters. And uh, well, this is done because the ordering is lexicographic, um, which means that we sort by using the first character first and then the second character and so on and so forth, just like the alphabetical ordering. However, the character codes for uppercase letters uh, are smaller than those for lowercase letters, which means that we will always place the words with uh, uppercase letters first when we sort strings using the default sorting uh, technique. Do note that this can be corrected, but this is a topic for a later discussion. Clearing the list can be done by using the clear method. So simply by calling dot clear on the list. 
How do we get the length of the list? We use the len function as we did for strings. So for example, if we have my list that, hit, that has cats and dogs, and then we print uh, there are plus len my list items in my list, then we will see there are two items in my list. The index notation, we can use the square brackets and provide an integer to state which one of the items inside the list we wish to access. However, if uh, there is no such item inside the list, we will get an index error. We can also convert a list to a string. This can be done by using the join method of the string class, the str class. So for example, if we use backslash n dot join my list, this is going to take the backslash n character as the list separator and join all of the items inside the list with this character between them. So the list separator is the character that's written between the items, right? So for example, if I state my list is I comma love comma Python and I print, I use the space character dot to join my list, then I will get I love Python. And if my list is keep calm and code on, each uh, word as a list item, and I join these using the backslash n character, then I will get an output that will put keep calm and code on each item on a separate line. All right, so that was a very fast overview of how we can use lists very easily. I think that was a, an introduction. Lists are fairly easy to use in Python. But as previously mentioned, there are going to be exception causing instructions such as the remove instruction and also uh, the, uh, the index access. So how do we keep our program from crashing if we are using such um, instructions and we allow some control to the user so we don't fully control with the algorithm what gets added what gets removed in our list well we can use the try except um, the try except structure as follows so a try block is going to contain instructions that can cause exceptions and an accept block is going to contain the instructions that would run if we get this exception so for instance if we try uh, to ask the user to input an item to delete and then we try to delete this item from my list, we don't know that the user is going to enter an item that is inside the list. So what we can do is we can simply state with the accept block, with a print statement, the item that you mentioned, item, was not found in the list. So we know that this is going to run if the remove instruction causes an exception. Right. So in this example, if the item is not in the list, then the print statement is going to run instead of the program simply crashing, which is beneficial for the program usability. Uh, if the item is in the list, then this print instruction will not run and uh, the item will be removed from the list. So the program works. So another example, let's imagine we ask the user to enter an index for the item we wish them to view inside a list. but at this point, we don't know if the user knows what the proper indices are and the user could try and simply input an index that doesn't exist or do it by accident. So what we could do is we could try to show this item at the proper index. For example, we have uh, the item at index IDX is the shopping list item at IDX. And if an exception occurs, we can define the except block to state, well, the index IDX does not exist in this list. Right. So in this example, if everything goes well, then the first print statement runs. And if this print statement causes an exception because of the index, then we simply state that this index does not exist. And this prevents the program from crashing. So I hope you enjoyed this short video on lists and exception handling. Have a good day.